be one Coach K story? Yeah, absolutely. So I, I've got Coach K and I go way back, by the way. Well, good. You'll love this story because there's a lot of concepts that people don't know about him. Like, for instance, when the when the uh, when the athletes come to Duke, the first thing they have to do is he brings everybody in that works in Cameron Indoor Arena, and they have to learn their name. He has to learn the name of every kids have to learn the name of every custodian. People, oh wow, boards because he these are these are important people that that, you, that don't get recognized, and so that's a powerful thing. So my oldest son, I was at Florida State, and we had just joined the ACC. And my oldest son, uh, who's now like 38, 39, he was, I think he was 10, 9 or 10, and maybe 11, I don't know. But anyways, he became a ball boy for FSU basketball team. Honestly. Okay. And so I'd go to games. And after the games, I'd have to go down. He'd be putting the balls in the rack, sweeping the floors and all that. And uh, we happened to be playing Duke for the first time. Duke had come to Tallahassee. We just joined the ACC. And, <clears throat> and Florida State beat him. Beat him I was going to say, Duke always struggles at, at FSU. I know he, exactly. We hit we had a three point we had a three point from the corner to win. It was a nationally televised game. <coughs> Dick Vitale was there and the whole ESPN crew. And so I'm going down. I'm walking down. My son's kind of finishing up, and the um, coach Vi, uh, Dick Vitale and somebody else had caught Coach K before he'd gone to the to the locker room asking about the game or something. And so as I'm walking downstairs, I had to go down you know where the floor is out the out the doors. Coach K comes walking off the floor. Now he hadn't been with the team yet. Mm -hmm. They just got beat on a three-point jumper, right? And uh, But he's done this interview. And as I'm walking by, I walk with my son, who's got a shirt that says FSU Ball Boy. And Coach K stops him, and he goes, he goes, so you were the ball boy today. And he goes, yes, I was. He says, I just want to tell you, you did a great job. I watched you. You did a great job. He goes, what's your name? And he goes, Bo Duke. <laughs> Bo is his nickname, but Duke obviously is my last name. And so yeah. Coach he goes, oh, well, you must be a big Duke fan. Of course, my little 10 year old, 11 year old, go, oh, no, no, I'm a Florida State fan. Got his, you know, got his gold shirt on. And Coach K looks at me and he goes, are you, are you his dad? And I go, yes, I am. He goes, would you mind if you came in with your son? Would, would he like to meet the team? Oh, said, wow. So my son goes, yes. So we go in the locker room. They're sitting in a little U shape. Now remember, they just got beat. Yeah. They just got beat. He's getting ready to chew them out. You know, talk about, I don't know, whatever he's going to do. He goes, guys, before I talk to you about the game, I want to introduce you to Bo Duke. Bo served you this game, all game. He was on, on one of the baskets, you know, wiping the floor, putting the balls in and all that kind of stuff. I want you all to give him a big hand. They all gave him a big hand. They looked. He looked at him. He said, would you like to get an autograph from the team? And, of course, Bo goes, yes. And the uh, the little sport, the SI guy hands him a, you know, they got the picture of the team. And they go yeah. around. Of course, it's Christian Leitner, Bobby Hurley, you know. Oh, wow. it was that It was that group. Wow. And uh, now my son's 38, 39 years old. You tell me, you tell me two things. What's one possession that he still has? That, that picture. And who's, his, and who's his favorite coach? Oh, it's, it's, it, it's incredible what, when you have the heart to, to just capture the moment of people who they are, what it does is it motivates way beyond just the, and it, again, I don't know what he told the players after we left. I don't know if they played good or bad. I don't know, but boy, he set the priority well. That, hey, we got beat, but people still were here working for you and serving you in what you did. It was it was a powerful moment, powerful moment.